this story is called Wine for the Wedding. And this is something that happened when Jesus was on the earth. So Jesus had come into the world as a baby and now he was grown up. And Jesus was spending time with lots of people, teaching them all about God's love. But he wasn't quite ready to do any, any miracles yet. So do you remember Jesus, while he was on earth, did some amazing miracles? Well, this is the very first miracle that Jesus ever did. And this is what happened. Jesus, Jesus was at a wedding. This was the wedding. And we've got our bride and our groom. And there were lots and lots of guests at the wedding and they were having a lovely feast together all around this lovely big table. Now, in Bible days, it was really important that if you were hosting a wedding, that you had lots of things for people to enjoy having, lots of food and lots of wine for people to drink. And that's exactly what happened at this wedding. But as the servants, here we go, here's one of our servants. As the servants were feeding all of the people, they soon realised that all of the wine had gone out. There was just a little dribble left in the bottom. Now, this would make the wedding party people, the bride and the groom, very worried because if their guests didn't have enough wine to drink, it would make it look as if they didn't really care. That's a bit strange, but that's what it was like in Bible days. It was very important to show your guests that you cared very much about looking after them, about feeding them well and giving them very good wine to drink. And so Mary, who was Jesus's mother, she knew that Jesus was going to be able to do amazing things in the world. She knew that Jesus would have God's superpower to help him. And she asked Jesus to help. So she came down from the table and she said, Jesus, please help, please help to get wine for the wedding. Now, Jesus wasn't too sure because he didn't quite think it was quite his time yet to start doing amazing things in the world. But Jesus did care. He did care about the groom and the bride and he wanted to help them. So Jesus decided that today would be his first miracle. And so Jesus went off to the servant and he said, go and fill up some big jugs of water. And the servant thought, well, how is that going to help? But he did just as Jesus told him to. So off he went to go and fill up with some water. And so once he'd filled up with some water, Jesus told him to pour the water in to the wine holders. And so just as Jesus did, this is what the just as Jesus said, the servant did. And he filled up every pot that was on the table with the water and as they did, there was an amazing miracle. All of the water turned into wine. And you know what? This wasn't just any old wine. This was the best wine that people had ever, ever tried. Jesus, with God's superpower, had done his very first miracle he had saved the party. All of the guests enjoyed the wine so much, they actually thought that the wine was better than the wine that they'd had at the beginning of the wedding. Wow. This story really helps us to think about how much Jesus cared, how much he loved the bride, the bride and the groom, and how much he wanted to help everybody to have a good time at the wedding and he didn't want any of the people to go away without being fed well and have good wine to drink and that's the story of Jesus turning water into wine. Mm -hmm.